Hey, it's Josh Vergara from Android Authority. What's going on, everybody? And we're moving right along with the reasons to buy or pass, this time in regards to the Galaxy Note 3. And of course, when we're talking about the Samsung Galaxy Note 3, we have to start off with its size. 5.7 inches is the screen you get on here, and obviously that makes for what is categorically a large device. Large devices were a big thing in 2013, but the Samsung Galaxy Note 3 seems to head the pack because we have to give it a lot of credit because after some time with the phone, this starts to feel normal. And then once you turn the phone around, you find a new material choice. New horizons for Samsung as glossy plastic has finally been put aside for what is now textured plastic. Yes, it mimics leather and in the end it is just plastic still, but it's just such a refreshing change. And then yet we have another Snapdragon 800 powered handset that runs it very well. And it is backed by three gigabytes of RAM for good multitasking, which was a first in the Android space. Battery life also gets a very good nod because of its high capacity battery in the Galaxy Note 3 that works a treat for longevity. This is a phone that can definitely get you from day one to almost day three, especially if you have some frugal usage. And of course, with the plastic that Samsung likes to employ, that means the removable back cover is available here, and under that cover is also an expandable storage slot. When we talk about software, multitasking has always been TouchWiz's forte, as it provides many tools for multitasking, especially the multi-window, which is very popular, and all of the S Pen functions. And of course, the S Pen, especially with all of the new features that have been put into the Galaxy Note 3, the S Pen stands alone as a peripheral that comes with your phone. And I bet you, even if you have never used the S Pen while using your Galaxy Note 3, I bet you the few times that you have, they were probably all good times. And when we start talking about the reasons to pass on the Galaxy Note 3, we also have to talk about its size. Now the Galaxy Note 3 is basically the most comfortable large device that you'll probably ever use. However, some people just don't like large phones, and if that's you, then this phone's not for you. And then we move on to TouchWiz and the software side because plenty of people who used to dislike the aging look of TouchWiz did so as much as they hated the glossy plastic. After all, TouchWiz is just something that we've seen for years now and it is in need of a very big refresh. In terms of the general features that it has, those do continue to grow, especially in number. But here comes another issue for the TouchWiz in the Galaxy Note 3 and that's whether or not all of these features might be wasted. For all that you may pay for the Galaxy Note 3, you may never use the air views, the air gestures, S health, or even watch on. Not to mention, gasp, the S Pen. So in a growing market of large phones out there, perhaps looking elsewhere might be a little bit more useful for you if you are afraid that you're paying for so much in a phone that you may never use. And as I keep harping on it, the last reason to pass on this phone is probably the price. As Samsung's unabashed flagship of flagships, you may not see its price go down until probably the next Note iteration comes out. In the end, if you are able to afford the Galaxy Note 3, we say go for it. But that is a pretty steep price to pay in order to get one of the best phones of 2013. And so, there you have it for these reasons to buy or pass on the Galaxy Note 3. As always, you can check our full review and our full comparison coverage on the Galaxy Note 3, including feature-focused videos if you need more information than just the quick-fire reasons we've given you in this video. And as always, thank you very much for watching, and stay tuned to Android Authority because we're your source for all things Android.